Good day, fellow investors. Today we're going to discuss how Wall Street caters investors' greed. Now, there is demand for fast returns. Everybody would like, okay, I want to make 20% this year. And people don't think about risk reward, especially after an eight year bull, nine year bull market. When that happens, Wall Street simply delivers the products that there is demand for. And I recently came across this advert. Aberdeen Asset Management, a good asset management company, they came up with this article where we see opportunities for investors in the coming months. So investor want opportunities, they are greedy. That's the main point. And it's not so much Wall Street's fault. They just offer what investor wants. And you're an idiot if you don't offer what the investor wants. So after a turbocharged 2017, investors have become nervous of a market sell-off. Among the signs, technology stocks have wobbled recently and high-yield corporate bond spreads, the risk premium corporate bonds provide over government bonds, have narrowed to levels not seen since the financial crisis. But while the bull cycle is 10 years old, its end is not necessarily imminent. There are good reasons to think risk assets, including equities and high-yield bonds, and here is the main quote, can appreciate further, even though valuations are stretched. So the message is that equities can appreciate further, can, even if valuations are stretched. So Aberdeen is well covered. They say it can happen and they say the risk is there. The valuations are stretched. So what they're saying is correct, but they are catering to that investor that still wants to gain, still wants that is high on past returns, that is high on his neighbor's past returns, and they still want to invest no matter the risk. They're not saying, okay, there is a 20% chance stocks will appreciate the next year, which is again, wrong perspective, an 80% chance they will go down. They are not saying you can expect a long-term return of 4%. No, they are saying stocks can appreciate further. And that's the selling point. That's where people get caught in. For example, I talk about value risk reward investing, but I think my YouTube channel would have 100,000 subscribers if I would talk about trades, about trading, about short term gains, and if I would do daily actionable trading ideas. I think that is what the customer wants, but I don't want to do that because that's not me. So I could do that. And there are many that constantly promote stocks, constantly promote trades, risk rewards, stop loss, up downwards. And even if you are wrong most of the time, you will have a big audience because of the ideas, because of the opportunity to get to that short term gain. And that's what, the, that's what not so much fault of Wall Street or all of those traders, swing traders that promote that, that's the fault of the investor that is greedy and wants that. So my point here is that really, if you want long-term sustainable returns, get as much knowledge about proper investing. Benjamin Graham, the intelligent investor is a great start and we are summarizing the book. So that's where to start to understand the risk reward of whatever you do and to understand what you have to do to definitely come to those financial goals. That's the main focus of investing, that you come to your financial goals without risk, because you cannot risk not retiring as planned at 65. That's a crazy risk. You cannot risk not reaching this and that, or that, that are important things. People usually risk, I don't know, everything to get another boat, to get a vacation home, and that is where usually it goes wrong. Looking forward to your comments to this interesting topic about greed and Wall Street and how to be careful about what people are promoting and what is even most important and what Buffett usually says that the investor is usually his worst enemy. See you in the next video.